The Pittsburgh Steelers have acquired veteran wide receiver of the LA Rams, Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson has been traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers for the 234th pick in this year's NFL draft. And also being traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers is a seventh round pick in their own right, the 251st pick. So that in totality is Robinson and a seventh, a later seventh for the Steelers. Better seventh. <laughs> Allen Robinson has been a very good player in the NFL throughout his career. Three 1,000 yard plus seasons, really bad quarterback play, but despite that, he's overcome it at many points throughout his career. Succeeding with Mitchell Trubisky at times. Succeeding with Blake Bortles and company at other times. This man has had no breaks in his career when it comes to bad quarterback play. But I will say this, Allen Robinson is not the same player he used to be. And I do not think the Rams would be trading him for a 7th round pick despite his contract, which is a hefty contract and that comes into play big time with this deal. Allen Robinson straight up for a seventh, with the seventh also coming in return, doesn't make a lot of sense when you don't account for the contract, the money. And this is what this deal is all about. It's about moving salary cap space for the LA Rams, a team that, in my opinion, is low key one of the worst rosters. In the NFL. Yes, they have Matthew Stafford still, Cooper Cup, and Aaron Donald, but after that, they don't have a lot. Okay? So the LA Rams are a little bit in transition. They were elite contenders for quite some time. They went all in with Matthew Stafford. They got the Super Bowl. Last year, everything imploded. And their salary cap, the draft capital that they have not had, that's caught up to them. And that's allowed a team like the Steelers to make a move such as this one where they're taking on really a contract in this trade. So how this is going to work is the Pittsburgh Steelers will pay $10 million to Allen Robinson in guaranteed money coming up. The Steelers will pay 10. The Rams will pay five. So with $15 million in totality with that contract, five still the Rams must pay, and the Steelers will pay 10 So overall, a pretty good deal for the Pittsburgh Steelers when you consider everything. But you also have to consider what is Allen Robinson at this point. And I think you would say that as a number three receiver, there is certainly upside when it comes to Allen Robinson. Last year, he fell off the face of the planet when it came to production, when it came to ability, when it came to separation skills. Allen Robinson certainly wasn't the same player. He didn't seem to fit what the Rams were looking for in their system. He didn't seem to have a strong rapport with Matthew Stafford which is very concerning because Matthew Stafford pretty much has a good rapport with every receiver he comes in contact with, from Cooper Cup to Megatron to Odell to Golden Tate to Kenny Galladay to Marvin Jones. I mean, you just go down the list, right? So if he can't play with Stafford, if he can't fit in a Sean McVay offense, what makes anyone think he is not washed? Well... We look at his statistics. Last year, he played with the Rams, 33 catches, 339 yards, three tutties. That was in 10 games. The year previous, 38 catches on 66 targets in 12 total games, 410 yards, and a touchdown. So over the last two years, he has not been the same player from a production standpoint. In fact, I'd look at 2021 and suggest that he wasn't the best receiver on that team. It was Darnell Mooney, right? And last year... The Rams signed him thinking that he was going to return to 2020 form where he went for 1,200 yards and 102 catches and people were calling him a top 5 to 10 receiver in the NFL. 
And in 2019, he did very much the same. Chicago for two years there, he put up numbers in Chicago, despite the quarterback play. So what you're looking at with him is, can he just be a secondary playmaker at this point in his career? And it's almost a little bit of a boost for Kenny Pickett. It's like not going all in and signing or trading for an Odell or a DeAndre Hopkins. It's not like you're going to draft a receiver in the first round. It's not going out and signing maybe Jacoby Myers in free agency like you could have. But it's still going out there and trying to get another piece to the puzzle for Kenny Pickett to hopefully see what he has in year two. Because Kenny Pickett played admirably as a rookie, did some good things, but I don't think the Steelers or Steelers fans should be completely sold on him as the future. I think he has some promising features to his game. But can you now give him that opportunity to succeed by bringing in a veteran presence who's quarterback friendly and Allen Robinson as the number three receiver where he can line up in the slot or outside? And I think he might primarily play in the slot, which is interesting because he hasn't done that a lot. I think last year with the Rams, that's not really what his role was. So maybe can he transform into a short intermediate threat from the middle of the field for Kenny Pickett? I wouldn't be surprised if he saw better production in that role as that route runner type with great hands over the middle of the field. Because Deontay Johnson, Pickens, they primarily like to play on the outside. So I don't see that changing very much. Plus you've got a good quality tight end and a running back that can catch out of the backfield. So you've got plenty of pieces in Pittsburgh now. And you're building that offensive line where I expect maybe one of the top picks to go in your draft. I really see the plan coming together here for Pittsburgh, at least for the short term, to try to maximize Kenny Pickett. Because that's what I love to see from franchises that have these young quarterbacks that they're undecided on. Give them as much that they possibly can have and see what they can do. With my Patriots, I've been frustrated with how they've treated Mac Jones because the guy goes, he goes to the playoffs and we still have nothing for him really at receiver or anything of that degree. So the Patriots have not been able to maximize Mac Jones in my opinion and they've really mistreated him with the offensive coordinator situation. Now Pittsburgh's had a similar bad offensive coordinator situation, not quite a defensive coordinator calling your plays, but not exactly one of the smartest minds in the league. So can Allen Robinson help out and be able to open up the middle of the field for Kenny Pickett and make some key catches and also provide depth for Deontay Johnson, for George Pickens? Pickens could take another step forward in year two. Deontay Johnson is a solidified, I would say, at least, you know, top 30 receiver in this league. He is probably in that number one from one to 32 range, right? So... I think you've got enough weapons there for Kenny Pickett to succeed this year. And with a pretty good defense, you should be competing in this division in a tough AFC with Mike Tomlin, the great coach at the helm. So that's what it's all about for me. For the Rams, it's about moving cap space. It's about realizing that they're not going anywhere this year. Let's move off of this contract. He didn't fit well in our offense, our scheme. Let's give him another opportunity elsewhere. And the Steelers were willing to take on a bit of the contract and bring in a just good veteran player who maybe he's washed a little bit, but I think as a number three receiver, he can still contribute in the NFL. So Steelers fans, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Those are my overall thoughts. With Allen Robinson, you're getting a guy that I still think is a very crafty route runner, despite maybe a lack of speed and quickness that he used to have. He's very good with his hands. He's very good at at catching contested balls, 50-50 balls. He's very good at that. One of the big questions I have about Allen Robinson and the overall receiving core is maybe do you have too many receivers that don't separate? With Pickens and Robinson, you've got two of your top three receivers being guys that aren't exactly the best at getting open. They're better at you throw the ball up, Chuck and pray, and it's 50-50, but they come down with it at a 70-30 to rate when it comes to Pickens and Robinson. So that's one of the things that does concern me. But if you're looking at other guys behind them, like Austin, who I liked coming out of the draft, 
Maybe he plays a role of more of one of the separators along with Deontay Johnson, who is a phenomenal route runner. So, Steelers fans, let me know in the comments section below. But those are my overall thoughts with this move for the Rams, for the Steelers. Allen Robinson. Hopefully he plays better in 2023. Peace.